Hi everybody, this is Josh from Pomeroy Creative. I had a request to make a video on how I create professional business cards. And um, I'm assuming they meant using the Google Drive applications um, based on the fact that it was a comment on one of the Google videos that I've made. So again, if you haven't seen my videos, I've been doing a lot of videos recently on Google Drive and all of the applications, um, mainly focusing on Google Drawings. You may have seen some of my portrait work using Google Drawings and also Google Slides. I'm using Google Slides for multi-page print document layout and design, and it actually works beautifully for design work. If you have heard of or have used uh, Adobe products like InDesign, then um, I think you will be able to navigate and understand how I'm using Google Slides, which is primarily meant for presentation um, applications for a print design. Um, in this, this video, I'm going to show you how I do it using Google Drawings and how I, use, how I do this uh, making a business card using Google Slides. And both uh, web applications have the same features um, with the addition Google Slides has uh, additional feature sets like animation and master slides and being able to see multiple pages at one time uh, in a little preview pane on the left hand. We'll get into that and I'll show you that. So there's some advantages if you're doing multiple pages or like say a front and a back to a design. Um, by using Google Slides. Let me show you Google Drawings first. This was one of the first business cards I made using Google Drawings and actually had printed by a professional printer and they turned out great. So this was for my mother-in-law. She's a Shackley distributor. I'm just going to preview it here and then I'll open it up in Google Drawings and show you all the pieces. This is what it looks like. Um, very simple and clean and um, I thought it just had a the right kind of personality and attitude for what she does. Um, Shackley, uh, is, I'm not going to talk about what it is. Uh, if, you, if you know it, uh, you know this is their logo. And um, she's an independent distributor. So there's a picture of her there. Her name, uh, it shows a couple of different fonts, not too many. One that kind of matched this um, independent distributor line here. This is part of their logo. So uh, I found one that kind of matched that. And I think it's actually Ubuntu, the Ubuntu font. So I used that, that font there. Okay, and this was in Google Drawings. So Google Drawings does not have multiple pages. So this was the front, and that's in one document. And then the back was very simple. She wanted it to be very plain so that she could write on the back of it here and just had her email address down here at the bottom. So. When you look at them together, there's kind of a nice flow there. Design-wise, it kind of matches front and back. So the front, and then you flip it over, and there's the back. So those are just set up in two different documents. And what I did, I'll open it up here. There's, there's not any guides or rulers in Google Drawings, but you can set your, your uh, page, which is called Page Setup, to specific inches and I got the information from my printer to exactly what the uh, the bleed needed to be so I set that up for 3.625 by 2.125 for a three and a half by two inch standard size business card and then I have saved I'll show you this here this is just a little trick that I'm, I've done it's kind of a workaround I have a resource folder, and in here I have a one-fourth inch square. That's all it is. So I know that this is one-fourth inch. And I created this very simply. Um, I'll create a new one here. I actually do a one-eighth inch. I just made a new Google drawing, and the, the shortcut key for that is Shift-D. So I'll make a new one. And I'm going to give this a title and just do one-eighth inch 
and then go to page setup and I go to custom and in here I'm going to put 0.125 that's one eighth of an inch 0.125 so I've got a, um, one eighth inch square and then I'm going to just draw in a box okay and You'll see these smart guides, it snaps to the document balance. And then I'm going to turn off the stroke by making it transparent. And then I like to use this pink color for my for my guides. So this is basically by like setting up your own guides and it's kind of a workaround way of doing it. So I can copy that and paste it right into another document. And now I've got a 1 8 inch square. So what I can do is zoom out a bit here. And I can drag this out. I can, first of all, I'm going to duplicate it, which is Command-D. So I'm going to have one this way, and I'm going to have one this way. Again, I'm snapping to those guides. And then I can line these up on my document to see where I need to keep everything. So that gives me a 1 8 inch, um, basically, safety guide. And I could put this all the way around if I wanted to. But this is what I did, and this is how I, I work with it. And basically, um, one of the things that I like to do is once I get these lined up, I can use the the guide itself to to uh, shorten that, like just like this, how I'm doing it right here on the screen. And so everything that I move now, for instance, this text box, you see how that red that red smart guide on the left there, how it snaps to that. So what that does is shows me that this edge is my, my safety guide. So I don't want to go past that. And that's basically how I can set it up without having these on top of my design. So it's a little bit of a workaround, but once you get these things set up, you can reuse them over and over and over again. So I've got my 1 8 inch uh, guide set up in a Google Drawing, and I just put it into a resource folder. Um, very, very easy to do. And you can open that anytime and copy it and paste it into another document. Now this one's all done, so I'm just going to delete these guides here for now because I know it's set up correctly. But that's how you can kind of do a workaround to set up your own guides. I do a 1 8 inch and a 1 quarter inch, and that quarter inch usually is for like, I don't want to have any text um, that goes outside that quarter inch. So check with your printer to see what those um, bleed is what you want to look at, bleed and uh, trim and uh, a lot of times they'll provide you with a template but there's no google drive templates so that's why we've got to make our own like this so i'll show you another one here i'll show you one that we did for ourselves and let's see it's in our logo stuff here and this one i used Google Slides, and I'll show you the advantage of using Google Slides when you've got front and back to a design or multiple pages. Uh, you can zoom in and out, by the way, by holding Command and Option or Control Option on a PC or Chromebook and the plus minus keys. And that's really, really, really handy. So on this one, it was a very, very simple design. And what we did is we did them with a metallic ink. And so they came out like this. See that? So they're really, really cool. And then they've got a, a matte, uh, like a flat black. So this is actually how it turned out. The design in Google Slides. Here's the back. Okay. And uh, so this was this was the front, and over here we got we have slides. So if you've ever used like um, PowerPoint or uh, Keynote, it's pretty much exactly like that. Um, you can just pick up and grab any object on the screen and move it around, move it wherever you'd like. You've got uh, smart guides that snap to everything, um, and uh, you can create text boxes. Um, I have another video on how to import vector graphics like cl uh, clip art and which which that's how I've got this P in here okay this is actually a WMF file format which is really really cool it retains um, 
your vector information so you can rescale this make it any size you want without losing any resolution you can also recolor it to whatever you want so if I wanted this to be pink I could do that so it treats it basically just like a shape except you can't edit the points uh, and then I did the same thing here for this piece this is just a text box it's live text and I don't want to mess that up so um, but that's really really simple so I created a text box and just typed in there and again I used those guides so if I paste in that guide you can see here's my eighth inch I can drag that out let me duplicate it first so I have one for the side and one for the top just like that right there and if you hold alt you can um, you can resize by both axes, so if that makes sense. So I start dragging and hold Option or Alt, and it also resized the other side. Get this lined up, and there I've got my guides. And so you can see how there's nothing that goes past that guide in this uh, in this design. So that's just how I make sure that these are going to look great when they're printed and not like get something weird cut off the edge and make sure there's plenty of nice margin all the way around all the important information. And uh, like I said, that's that's how they turned out. So from there, you can download this as a PDF. If you go to File, Download as, PDF. And this will save only what's on the actual canvas, what's on the, the artboard. And I'll open it up here in Chrome so you can see we've got multiple pages. So here's the front. I'll scroll down. There's the back. So it binds that together into a single PDF document. Now again, check with your printer to see how they want that uh, delivered to them. If they just want a front and a back in separate PDF files or um, or a JPEG, high, high resolution JPEG, you can do that. And I have a video how, uh, to show you how to do that um, using Cloud Convert. So you can do all of this inside of a web browser. I just think that's fantastic and fascinating because it uses no proprietary software. You could log into any computer, um, use Chrome, and start creating professional stuff. And um, like I said, these just turned out fat, fantastically. Fantastically? I'm going to stick with it. And we really, we really like them. We've also done um, client work using Google Drawings, Google Slides, and everyone has been very, very happy with it. Let me show you one that we have recently finished for a catalog. We did a catalog for a company called Prime Carts. This was completely done in Google Slides as far as the layout. Now some of these graphics, like this uh, diamond plate here, we created our own assets in Photoshop. And then we saved them out as high resolution PNGs, but we used Google Slides as our layout software for this entire catalog. So all the text in here, um, any other vector graphics, all the layout, everything was arranged and placed on here using Google Slides as our, as our layout tool. So it's very, very capable, very powerful. Um, it's, not, it's not something for cutting out images. Uh, we use Photoshop for that. Uh, it's not something for uh, you know, detailed photo manipulation or, um, or digital art. It's a great text and layout application, and that's what it's good at. Um, as you can see here, you know, multiple pages, um, and it's very, very easy to do. You can create master pages and have the same background flow throughout the document um, and set up maybe like a logo in a corner or something, and uh, every page will have that, and uh, it's kind of locked on the page. 
So there's a lot of really powerful features in Google Slides for creating multiple page documents like this and getting them printed by a professional printer and looking fantastic. So I hope you I hope you give it a try. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. You can uh, leave a comment here on the channel or um, on my website, joshuapalmer.com or palmercreative.com. You can leave an email message there. And I'd be happy to make more videos like this and hopefully answer your questions. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.